Hey folks, here's a, a quick video on using external dilation. We got it installed, good folks in IT put it on all the machines, so you should be able to find it underneath filter, plugins, external. Just to help explain what dilation is, um, it's a way to pad your edges. So the good folks at Substance have a really great document here. And we all know that Substance Painter does a great job of filling in these edge pixels to kind of remove the gutter. Now, when for a game engine, a game engine will mip map the heck out of a, an object when it's getting drawn smaller on screen. And if you don't pay mind to that gutter, as the texture mip maps down to a smaller resolution, you'll get this haloing effect that is a is like these gray pixels in the gutter. So we want to fill those in with uh, edge pixels so that we can avoid these type of padding issues. So back here in Photoshop, Michael Philippic has uh, allowed me to take a look at his, uh, his asset here. And he has a, like a basic green background, but let's go ahead and use dilation to fill in all these uh, edge pixels. Um, I'm just gonna make a duplicate copy of this thing and I'll go back to filter, X normal dilation. Default padding is eight, but we can crank it up 12 just in case or 16 let's try that and we'll do that and you can see there it's dilating all these edges but you know the the far edges might be slightly contaminated and maybe not the green that we would expect to fix that i'm going to hold down control and i'll click on the layer thumbnail and it will create all these little marching ants around the shape and the next thing i'm going to do is kind of reduce uh the, the selection by contracting it. So I'm going to make it a little bit skinnier by hitting contract. And I'm going to shave out two pixels. So with this selection, next thing I'm going to do is invert the selection with shift control I and then I'll hit delete and you'll see that this gets a little bit skinnier and the other ones just kind of fits underneath it here. So this is the one I want to use to create the dilation. So I'm going to deselect, just control D. And here's my skinnier uh, version, the contracted version with none of those edges. So with this layer selected, I'm going to go repeat the dilation command. And you'll see that we get that more natural expectation of that green filling in the, all these areas. So cool. And if we really, really, really want those edge pixels when uh, it gets up close, we could layer on the, that top layer that still has those little edge pixels.